An Eye for Beauty, Rooms That Speak to the Senses, by Beth Webb. Beth Webb is an internationally recognized interior designer, admired for her tactile, serene, and dynamic spaces. She is the founder of Atlanta-based Beth Webb Interiors. Her body of work spans from North to Central America, and it's known for its sophisticated and inviting appeal. She believes that beauty only works if it's collaborated by ease and elegance, all rooted in simplicity. Beth's work has been featured in such magazines as Veranda, House Beautiful, Traditional Home, Elle Decor, and Lux. Beth Webb's hallmark is the use of neutrals, and her designs are highly sought after. She says that texture is her color palette. Beth uses a variety of materials and objects to create interest in a room. She does this while juxtaposing masculine and feminine silhouettes to create compelling, sensual spaces. Layered light is another crucial element, bringing a sense of warmth, romance, and contentment. Beth Webb writes, the eye has to travel. She contends that the ability to combine neutrals in a way that is warm and inviting was something that she gleaned from her many travels. This concept has fed her journey since childhood, which was marked by a rich education in art history and the liberal arts that ultimately led to her master's degree from Sotheby's in London. While the arts are her foundation, Beth asserts that it is travel that has informed and sustained her distinctive point of view. She has the ability to coalesce decorative elements that span cultures, continents, and centuries in a fascinating and seamless fashion. Beth writes, there are so many different kinds of homes, as many as there are people. But as for the way we want our homes to make us feel, I believe that's universal and visceral. Once our deepest instincts assure us that we're safe in a given space, our higher senses kick in and we begin to absorb the atmosphere of our surroundings in a nuanced and layered way. She continues to write, The design process starts with life and how we live. I grew up in the small town of Lookout Mountain, Tennessee, with a population of 1,600. My mother had an inherent love of beauty, and she knew quality and taught me and my sister to care about both. I learned that light is essential to life, and it's one of my absolute for transforming a house into a home. If there is a lack of natural light in a home I am designing, I will figure out another way to create luminous ambiance. Light is a form of joy. No one can or should live without it. Beth writes, 
Color, to me, is in many ways a matter of economics, longevity, and moreover, simplicity. Our tastes and sensibilities inevitably change with age and experience. Understated building blocks will allow an interior to transition almost at will as it happens. If the larger pieces in our rooms were neutral, then it is possible and comparatively easy to update a space with art, decorative pillows, floor coverings, and window treatments that reflect our latest passions and preferences for color. Beth Webb, An Eye for Beauty, Rooms That Speak to the Senses, by Beth Webb. This book is 254 pages. It is published by Rizzoli, and it retails at $50. I've enjoyed sharing little parts of my life with you all before and after these book reviews, and I appreciate your tolerance for that. I wanted to share this part of my life with you also. About two weeks ago, my beloved cat, Larry, who had been with me for almost 15 years, died. She showed up on my back porch about 14 years ago, just a week after my dad had passed away. And like a furry angel, she helped me think of something besides my own grief. She was skinny and scared, and I didn't have any cat food, but I did have a lot of turkey. So I began leaving that out for her. One fall day, I left the back door open to enjoy the weather, and she walked right in and never left. She was a brave, beautiful, and constant companion through some major life changes. I will miss Larry. I go for a walk down this street just about every day, and I always pass by the house that the Stephen King movie Cat's Eye was filmed. This movie starred James Woods and Drew Barrymore, and the cat turned out to be the hero in that film. I was about 15 years old when I saw it the first time, and I loved that General the Cat saved Drew Barrymore's life. I thought you would enjoy seeing the house. Well, that depends. Depends? Depends on what? On whether or not I can keep general and sleep with me at night. Amanda, that's blackmail. As we walk a little further, we can see the house that Liv Tyler's character, Corey Mason, lived in when the movie Empire Records was filmed in 1995. Thanks for walking with me, 
and thanks for watching the review. And I'll see you on Sunday for the next one.